everybody, it's Jenny with Berkeley Farm. I've got my husband Brett here. Hey Brett! Hey! How's it going honey? Pretty good. Um, and he is holding little baby Phil. So I wanted to show you something. Several of our goats have this. Um, you see this on his neck right here? One here and one over here on this side. It's called a waddle. W-A-T-T-L-E. Um, it really serves no purpose. It's just like this little fleshy it's almost like a skin tag, um, but it's it's covered with their with their hair, their fur. Is it hair or fur, Brett? Oh, I think they have fur. They have fur. Oh, well, who's getting me here? Lola or Maya? Um, and Lola and Maya actually have Ow. have them too. See, their waddles right there. You can see them. So this it serves no purpose. It's just like this holdover kind of genetic thing. Um, if the mom or dad has um, waddles, then. It doesn't necessarily mean the babies are gonna, their kids will have it. Um, if the mom and dad don't have waddles, the kids could still have it. It's like kind of a totally random thing and depending on what article you read or what information you, you pull up from the internet, it's usually about 25% of um, baby goats will have them. And, and it's often more of the dwarf varieties like um, Phil here is a um, Nigerian dwarf or the uh, dairy goats like the Nubians, which we also have. I don't believe any of our Nubians have the wattles, do they? Just the Nigerian dwarfs. So, um, so the thing is, like, you can just leave them on. It, it doesn't, there's no point to them. It doesn't hurt them. There's, it's not a big deal to, you know, to have them or not. Um, the only thing is, like, if, uh, if you're raising goats to, like, show them or register them, often what happens is, um, the breeders will opt to remove them at birth because, um, not because it's bad or anything like that, but right. if people don't know that it's not bad, then they'll think that's a defect. So often breeders will just stop to remove them. Or the other thing is if you've got a waddle that's down here on the neck where you're going to be putting a collar and it's just going to, you know, always, always just irritate it, then you might want to remove it. So typically the waddles are, you can have one or two waddles. We've, ours, the, the ones that have waddles on our farm, I'll have two. Um, and it's typically on the, somewhere on the neck, um, sometimes like, like up here on the side. I've actually even read and seen pictures of ones, um, goats that have waddles on the ears, almost like little, you know, bobbing earrings. That's just kind of cute. So we've got, I think we have four, right? Um, and four Di goats that have waddles? And Diego. Oh, and Diego, that's true. Look at these guys. Like in my leg, like in my arm, that's what they do. It's the same ones every time. <coughs> but I just wanted to show you, I actually think they're adorable. They're really cute. So we've got five, five goats that have these. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. So adorable. Right. Hey, little baby Phil. You're so cute. How old is Phil now? Phil and Carl are about, four months? Somewhere in four months range. So they're still pretty small and in a um, little over a week, not this next weekend, but the weekend after, we're, we're going to have a private small baby goat yoga class. Hey, no, don't headbutt. Be nice. Be nice. And so we're going to have Phil and Carl and Hope and Ravala and for sure Sally. Sally's over a year old. What? Sally's behind you. Sally's behind me? Oh. Hi, Sally. Sally's over a year old, but she's so small and she has such a, a wonderful temperament and she's so cute and soft and oh, she's amazing. So she always goes into goat yoga. And then there's Carl. He will go into goat yoga. Phil will, will go into goat yoga. Lola and Maya will. Lola's over there. Oh, wait, is that Lola or Maya? I always get them mixed up. I have to get close to see somebody's licking my back here <laughs> or my underarm. <laughs> <laughs> it's Genevieve. Why am I not surprised? So, um, so we're going to have like six or seven that will be in goat yoga. And it'll be your first one, Phil. Won't that be fun? You have a blast. It'll be interesting to see how this uh, spring um, round of, of uh, kids will do with goat yoga because normally we have goat yoga all through the spring. 
but because of the pandemic, we didn't have any classes. So these little guys are not used to being in goat yoga. They're not used to being handled and held quite as much as last year's kids. I'm sure they'll do just fine, but they might be a little skittish. So just wanted to show you in case you ever wonder what those things are. If you ever see them in a photograph where you see them on, you know, like one of the videos of one of our goats, things like that. It's just a little waddle. It serves no purpose. Just a little, like a little fur covered skin tag. And it's totally fine. We like them. We keep them on. We don't mind it. We don't look for it. We don't, we don't want it or don't want it. It's just whoever has it, has it. Whoever doesn't, doesn't. Hi, Carl. Hey, Carl. How's it going, buddy? You're so nice. I like you so much. I like you so much. Come visit me. He's not visiting me. Yeah. Maybe you'll get lucky in this one more. Is that one Hope or Ravala? I was going to mix up. Um, that one is Ravala. She's our fancy, our fancy name girl. My friend Ravi named her. Oh, my goodness. Zoe. Hi, Zoe. Come to say hi to me. You're so nice. You're so nice. Can you give me a kiss? Can you give me a kiss? Okay, well that's it from Berkeley Farm tonight. Oh, where brothers kind of do the dominance thing there. Um, hope you guys have had a good day, and we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Say goodbye, Brett. Bye. See ya. Bye, everybody.